Well, Tuesday finds us right here, east of the cave, about a mile. We headed towards the cave. Yep, it's summertime. They moved this thing from uh, 28th Street of Virginia Beach to Ocean View. Stand by, we're inbound. Kenny Denny's behind me. Well, the first tug is a brand new penny. Now we got a nice low sound here. Not on the first scoop. Sounds like we got it on the second scoop, though. Oh, I don't like it. It's an old piece of tube. No, that's not it. That's a whooshy shell. Come out of there. Maybe it's a little teeny thing, it fell through. That's not it, that's not, that's not it. So it's still down, it must have fell through. Stand by. There it is. I knew it fell through, you little strumpet, you. Now here we got another loud corny sound, like a dime or a quarter. Or a new penny. First scoop, we didn't get it. Come out of there, Tiquito. Wait, no. Well, maybe. Yeah, SE Pro says it's still in the hole. Come out of there, baby. I like we might be more successful this time. I see it. I don't know if it's a penny or a dime. One penny, one bigger penny. The heat stopped by to say hello. The heat. The heat must have been lucky. Ring in the scoop. Ring in the scoop. She's a fit all. That ain't too good. What is her ring? Oh man. Check that ticket out. That's right. Voodoo ring. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, baby. I can put her right on, I think. Stand by. That can't be a good sign. Maybe the phone's out here somewhere. Or a music box or whatever. Stand by. Well, I found many of these over the years, but I never found one with the top on it. It's the only one I ever found with the lid. <laughs> wow, huh? Well, the cave is one block past that pipe. So I got about two to three blocks to go to get to the other side of the cave. Two blocks and then one more block. Stand by, we're getting closer to the cave. The heat's on a roll. Lights on, lights flashing. The heat is bound somewhere in a hurry. Well, the cave's in sight. Tide is low and I'll be there in a minute. Edmond, save me some gold. Treasure. 
Ring in the scoop, number two. Ring in the scoop. I think it's uh, like a moon ring or something. Yeah. The heart's on it. 7-Eleven special. I'm right here by the cave. I just ain't been on the other side of it yet. The cave. I'm going to offshore end of the cave now. Cave will be coming into view. Just a few seconds. It ain't too deep a hole right here. I mean to get in. It's deep. I'm going down. I'm going down. Edmond! Edmond! Come out of there! Come out of there, Edmond! Bring me some taquitos! Edmond! Well, it looks like two steps. Oh, you can just see the top of the second step. So we had a lot of sand build up right along in here. What you can see, there's a lot of driftwood up here from the tide. Tide's really low right now. I mean, it's made off good. Gracious. Been in about three hours. How you making out? Oh, not too bad. I got a ring, but it's just a silver ring. That's why I got two rings, a junk ring and a mood ring. Yeah, that's sort of like the one I found. That's a Clad Daddy ring, just like I was looking for yesterday. Yeah, yeah, Clad Daddy ring. Then I got some other weird thing here. Maybe you know what it is. Huh? Got no right here, you find lots of weird things. Cigarette lighter at first, but it looks too too much for that. I don't know what it is, but I'd say cigarette lighter before I said anything else. Oh, okay. I never did that. Light. It's a fancy one, though. <laughs> it's a big, it's a case for a big one. Oh, it yeah, is. yeah, yeah, yeah. I recognize. But I'm just about waist deep now. You can see the tie's off. Good. Not many targets. Not many targets. That's where the new sand is right there. What, just about where you see those two girls, where that cut is. That's where the, the, the big sand fell stopped so far. Those two girls are just about on the line where the cut stops. But from there to the western, it's all covered up. That's the big rocks right there. Bummer. They just dug a watch. I don't know if it's working though. You can, you can read something on the dial. One of them gigantic. Waterproof watch. I don't know, it might not be. <laughs> Got a waterproof band on it. So you can read, it says three, it said three, now it says 301 on it. It must be still working. Yeah, I think that's a fine timepiece. <laughs> Why does my wrist? She's been here for a while too, she got some dirt on her. I think it's still working though. Yeah. Well, that slides a long ways away. We're headed that way now. Well, well, we got old Doc Beaver coming up on us now. If we get to the slide. Let's see how he's making out. We passed him four hours ago at uh, Nautilus Beach. He was spinning there. Maybe he's got some taquitos for us to see. Out. Got two junk rings. Oh really? Well that's two more than I got. He's got a silver clad daddy ring with a nice watch he found it right in front of Greenies. Oh no kidding. Nice watch too. Yeah, working too. It's some kind of dive watch. Oh really? I mean it's not a dive watch, but it's a waterproof. Kind of marble and actually this Marble? You got one of my marbles. Yeah, yeah. I got, actually that one's in the car. I found that at the first place. At the uh had you find anything there at fifteenth? <laughs> Yeah, some clad, some other stuff. I don't know if this was somebody's uh, disguise for a really short person. Oh, uh, yeah. Mustache. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. The marble's back at my eye. I think that was it. Oh, I think I might have found like another fossilized crab claw. You like gotta watch this spot like yours. It looks just like it, matter of fact. Sunto? Yeah, except it's uh, got a rubber band on it. Let's see it. You said you kind of watched it? Yeah. See the watch like.
Stand by. Okay, it's roundup time. Crabbo. See you tomorrow. Somewhere. Here's we're gonna have a big storm. We might not be able to hunt tomorrow. It might rain. It's already sprinkled here twice. I don't know what that's gonna what's that gonna do. I know I got a bunch of knives to pick up in the morning. I've been looking at this ticket right here for a little while. This is a cool ticket right here, I'm telling you. Like I said, I found a lot of these. But this is the only one I ever found intact. <laughs> I mean I I like it, you know what I mean? I can't help it. I can't help it. There's a fella that lives in Rochester, New York. His name is Tony Fasilli. He's going to be older tomorrow. Happy birthday, Tony. You guys wish Tony a happy birthday. From Rochester, New York. See you later, Tony. That's how these figs are doing. My little bush, I didn't think she's going to make it, but man, she's coming around now. You can see the water's landed on the leaves already today with that little shower we had. Another three months, two months, I'll have figs. What do you think, Big O' Jack? We already played ball, so you don't need to play any more ball. No. Big O' Jack. <laughs>